Alright players, we're going to do a Warp Boss Take 5. So today we're going to talk about blood, using blood, and um, my different techniques for applying it to a model. Now, on this model I've already pre-painted his arm with corn red to symbolize dried blood. But we want to add a little bit of a bloody sheen to it, so we're going to add the Blood for the Blood God. Next we're gonna get all the blood that would be hanging off of their parts. So down his front, we're gonna dab it around his mouth, down his chin, and then down the front of his butcher's apron. Okay, now if you want, you can also cover some skulls with it, as if they were freshly uh, skinned. Like that. You can also paint it in and around piercings that would be particularly bloody like this one. Okay, the last method I'm going to teach you is how to flick and spatter blood onto your figure. First of all, you want to make sure that you have a space that you're going to be flicking the paint onto that you're not going to mind if it gets a little bit messy. For example, I work on this cardboard covering from my paint desk, so it's not going to stain the desk underneath. Very important. Then you want a big brush with stiff bristles. So the larger terrain brushes are great. You can also use a toothbrush. Anything that has stiff, long bristles like these that you can flick with your thumb. All right. So we are going to open the pot, get the paint onto the edge there, and wipe a little bit of it off, not too much. And all you're gonna do is hold it at whatever angle you want the blood spatter to come from. So I want it to come a little bit from the side as if he's chopping with his sword. So I am going to flick it from that side. Then just gonna clean up the spatter on the sides here. And there you have it. We create the effect that the blood is spattering from the right side over here. Also, if you wanna clean up some of that blood, just put a little bit of water on the tip of your brush and push it downwards towards the blade like I'm doing here. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And there you have it. So we put him next to uh, the butcher that I did yesterday and, or uh, last week, depending on when this video gets done. You can see that they are slightly different, but because of the blood spatter, they also kind of look uh, the same. They both like to get into their meals and um, they're both pretty darn bloody. So let me know what you think. Thanks for checking out this take five with the war boss and we'll see you in the next video.